Switzerland Tourism is making 2019 the year for destination weddings. Foreign couples getting married in Switzerland can make the country more known abroad. Jessica Cindy is a Singaporean designer who decided to get married in Gstaad. Her wedding planners tell us why. You had clients that got married in Gstaad in Switzerland. Why Switzerland? Um, I think the main consideration for the couple to choose um, Switzerland is because they have always wanted a Switzerland uh, as in a winter wedding. There is, there is very few destinations in the world um, like Switzerland that has a natural beauty. But of course, uh, we do consider other factors like the ease of travel and also the safety for the guests as well. So is this like a growing trend for Asian clients? Um, for We believe that Swiss, Swiss tourism is currently on the bounce and uh, we uh, are aware that uh, it very much coincides with the um, eco movement that's happening throughout the world. And for countries like Switzerland, uh, who is well known for its natural beauty, um, we do think that um, the number of tourists has been growing steadily. I mean, Switzerland is quite an expensive country. I was wondering why not Italy, France, Austria, that are close to Switzerland? For us, we believe that the wedding process is more of an emotional journey. So it's rather impossible to put a price on intangible factors such as the couple's dreams, the feelings and the experiences that a couple and a guest will have. So as mentioned earlier in um, Switzerland's case, um, we mentioned earlier that the natural beauty and the scenery, the ease of travel and the safety, you really pay for what you get. And while Switzerland is indeed a very expensive country, what you get in return is a higher quality of standard. How many guests were flown in for, for this wedding? Um, the couple actually flown um, about 60 guests to the wedding in Switzerland. So they come from all parts of the world, like um, in Indonesia, in tai from Taiwan, Hong Kong. We have them from London and of course from Singapore as well. How much did the couple spend? I know you cannot really give uh, exact figures. But can you put it a little bit in, into the big picture, you know, compared to Singapore for the same amount of guests? Mm -hmm. um, it really depends on the details and what the couple wants. So, in fact, even in Singapore, if you do a lavish ceremony, it can go up to higher than what um, you experience in Switzerland and vice versa. So, comes down to Switzerland itself, it has a very natural landscape and everything. You don't need to spend too much on the decorations, but you focus a lot more on the experience of the guests, the food and the culture you experience there. But can, can you give me an estimate? Um, roughly for 60 guests to 100 guests, I think you can go up to 150,000 Sing dollars. What did your clients enjoy most about the wedding in Switzerland? Um, basically everything from the scenery, the landscape, the weather, the ease of transportation to the venue and the, even the view that you get to enjoy while getting to the venue itself, the accommodations and also it snowed on the actual day of the wedding and that truly added a perfect touch to the wedding for the couples and the guests. And also not everyone has the privilege to witness a winter wedding and so this wedding actually exceeded everyone's expectations. I also uh, saw that social media was used quite a lot by your guests. You know, they posted pictures from Switzerland. Did you get any feedback by Swiss tourism? You know, I'm, I'm sure like it's great promotion for them. We believe that social media is um, very, a very important channel for uh, both Switzerland or any businesses right now. Um, in fact, any positive buzz uh, for social media uh, will lead to in the in lead to a success in terms of the tourism numbers. Did you get, did Swiss tourism come to you and say, wow, that was great, it helped us, uh, we do this in return for you? Yeah, um, actually we had the privilege to be assisted by uh, Switzerland Tourism Board together with other two partners, um, Bo Rivage and Heaven's Portfolio, for a post-wedding shoot in Lausanne for the couple. So during this, um, the Instagram and everything like um, Switzerland Tourism actually helped us with the hashtag and also the ease of transportation for all the guests and the accommodations as well. So Switzerland Tourism helped you, they made you extend the whole stay. So it was more organizational help by Switzerland Tourism, but not like financially or how do I have to imagine that? Um, yes, uh, in terms of operational and also um, they, we had... Um, 
um, Royal Rivage Palace come on board to let us enjoy the stay in the palace and this actually works together with the Switzerland tourism. Okay, great. Do you have any uh, other clients already organizing something in Switzerland at the moment? <laughs> Um, at this moment, not yet, um, because I think most of the time when clients want to visit Switzerland, they are always there for winter. So we are currently working a package with Switzerland Tourism and World Rivage Palace to see what we can come up for post-wedding shoot, pre-wedding shoots and honeymoons honeymoon. as well as intimate weddings. So this wedding actually already led to a cooperation between uh, the locations in Switzerland and the tourism office and you to do packages? Yes, all across the world, from Singapore to Switzerland. <laughs> Jessica Cindy got married and stayed at the Le Grand Bellevue Hotel in Gstaad. This is good for future business too. It's great because we can promote the hotel, the destination, to 80 guests. So they are just ones for wedding here, but maybe they can come back the next year on, on private holidays with their families or with the friends. So um, it's a moment where you can really showcase what you offer and what also the destination in the end can uh, can suggest to, to leisure travelers. So the designer uh, that got married from Singapore is uh, actually quite known, uh, Jessica Cindy. And then also amongst her guests, she had uh, friends that were attending and they were actually influencers like Melissa Ko that have a lot of following and they all posted photos from being here. Did you see any increase you know, in demand or rise or attention uh, after that wedding? It's very difficult to say and to measure that because you don't get a booking just the day after. Normally it would be for the next winter season, so it's a bit of early to say yes or no. But um, of course, I mean, they are very, they are well known in Singapore and many of their friends were yeah, like you say, influencers and very active in social media. So from one day to the other, we had lots of posts and followers and comments um, coming from that country. And uh, of course, it's a great visibility, um, but it's very difficult to say, OK, because of that, today I will have a booking for one week because it does not happen. Why did they have a wedding here? I mean, coming all over from Singapore? Yes, this was also a question, interesting question for us, because normally our weddings are from, from the region. We have um, Swiss Romand, the French-speaking Switzerland is our main market, and then German-speaking Switzerland, of course, as well. We're here between, between both um, areas, so this is also reflected in, in wedding bookings. So uh, when somebody came yeah, from Singapore, we say, wow, that's interesting. And actually, they already were familiar with the destination. So this is always the first step. They know Switzerland. And then they also know Gstaad because they have read, because they have heard, because of this kind of, uh, of thing. So when, once they know Gstaad, they start to look for a suitable hotel. And we are these kind of, yeah, of special gems, special properties. We are not a chain hotel. So this is very important. When you're celebrating a wedding, you want to have something intimate, something special, and you don't want to be a number. And here, it's exactly that what we, what we offer. So you say your main market is in Switzerland, but still, are you trying to promote uh, your hotel as a wedding destination uh, outside Abroad. of Switzerland? Abroad, yes. yeah. Yes, sure. How? There are several events and actions you can organize and you can take part of in order to, to promote your hotel abroad. Um, Stadt is a very international market, so it's difficult to say we have that nationality and that nationality because in the end we have a bit of everything and we need to look for new clients a bit of, yeah, worldwide. Um, but in general terms, what we mainly do for specifically for weddings is to invite um, wedding planners and agencies who are, which are specialized in organizing weddings to invite them to Gstaad so they can feel the destination, they can experience Le Grand Bellevue, they can see what we, what we have, what we offer, and in the end they become our ambassadors in their markets. Mm -hmm. So we do that with, uh, with uh, Switzerland tourism mm -hmm. and they have a, a certain circuit and itinerary around, around the country. Um, this is very important because you can show photos, you can show videos, but it's never the same than having them here and showing them what, what we have, right? Yeah, I can imagine then that those um, wedding planners then go back to their countries and when they have a couple they might, you know, they can suggest and even with having personal experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. they, they know about quality, they are, they are sure that quality is high and then 
they are also, I mean, they are always happy to get inspiration about where to go next, where to, which destination to suggest. Or trending. And, exactly. And what, I mean, they also want to be original and they don't want to, to suggest what everybody else has already offered and suggested. So in, that, in this sense, it's, it's important for also for them to, to know us. And Switzerland is a new destination. It's not something everybody knows from having been here. Everybody knows Rolex and, and luxury brands from Switzerland and banks, of course, but it's not, it's not a destination, a classic destination like maybe Provence or Tuscany. So it's not a place where people have been like other, uh, to other countries. Mm -hmm. So when we are offering Switzerland, we're offering the country as a special, as an exclusive um, destination. It can be wedding, it can be honeymoon, it can be whatever. Yeah, I was just wondering, I mean, why should it be in Switzerland? I mean, I could also have, uh, Switzerland promotes, you know, the mountains, lakes, countryside. I could go to Lake Como in Italy for the lake. I could go to Tirol, maybe it would be cheaper. Why here? Why Switzerland, Wikstadt? <laughs> um, I think we are a bit of a symbol for luxury travel. Switzerland as a brand and Gstaad as well. So prestige. Um, yes, certainly. So somebody... Um, getting married in Gstaad, it's not something which is like everybody's doing, so it's, it's very exclusive. It's, it's, it's not cheap, of course, but um, in our business, we do not define our, our services and our, what we offer by the rate, by the price, but rather for the quality. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are one of maybe the last countries in Europe where we don't have mass tourism. You won't see in Gstaad those big buses with tourists coming and going. Um, and there's, of course, some, some value, which mm -hmm. is maybe a difference towards Lake Como and uh, yeah, other beautiful places, right? Mm -hmm. uh, may I ask how much uh, a wedding package costs, let's say, for around 100 guests? It's maybe difficult to say it in total, mm -hmm. but by person it's mm -hmm. um, probably easier to, to quote because it really depends on the season and on the moment mm -hmm. uh, during a month and mm -hmm. if it's high or, or low season. But I would say a banquet, like a dinner, an hour. We have very famous gastronomy here in, 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 in at Bellevue. Um, Le Grand Bellevue has two of the most famous uh, chefs in Switzerland. So, um, it's, I would say we start at 250 mm -hmm. francs per person. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have flowers and you have the after dinner party. And the that rooms, comes extra cost. This is, yes, this is extra, mm -hmm. yes. But um, it's always better to quote by person because it's, it's, it's more, I mean, it can be 100, then it, it gets 80 if it's, uh, yeah. 120, but by person is exactly a number to make a budget. So 250 and then plus flowers plus everything. So 100 people would end up at 30, 35,000. It starts, yes. You don't have beverages included. Champagne and wines is always... Uh, so 30,000 upwards. So, yes. Yes. yes, and accommodation is also, uh, yeah. I Excellent. mean, somebody coming from so far, they would stay in probably not only one night. So if it's like three nights, it's a bit more. But this is normally paid individually by each of the, of the guests. Mm. It is quite a good business. It is, sure, yes. That's why we're doing it and we're looking for more weddings. Um, so far, we, as I said before, we work rather with the, with the local market for, or regional market for weddings. So bringing those people from abroad to get married here, it's something. But it's a, it's, we're just starting with destinations wedding. It's, it's not something we have been doing so, for so long. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that just we as a hotel, but the country as such, is also something new. Uh, we're just, yeah, developing. It. Yeah, you just meant the Switzerland tourism is actually making 2019 as a start for destination weddings. And when you go on their website, they promote locations in Switzerland. Uh, and you see, as I mentioned, lakes, uh, mountains, countryside. And even in Switzerland, the competition is quite fierce. It is. I mean, in Switzerland, we have lots of very good hotels. The luxury uh, segment is, is, is very high in, in terms of quality. And in almost every mountain destination, you will find a very good uh, deluxe hotel. Um, afterwards, it's maybe also a question of um, ex how easy it is to get. I mean, here at Stadt, we are between two main international airports, so this is, and it's not too isolated, so it's easy to get up to the mountains, it's easy to continue the trip. 
Um, and then, yes, of course, I mean, we, 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 we're very different. Each hotel in Switzerland, because you don't have so many chain hotels here, all the best hotels in the country are independent, mm -hmm. and we're all different. So I think in the end, even here in Stadt, if you look at our competitors, we're all different. So in the end, it's very good to be like this, because it's, it's an asset for each other. The few destination weddings that you have, uh, is that a certain area where they're coming from? You know, I was thinking Singaporean tourists, maybe because it's so different from where they come from, or do you also? Oh, yeah. The last one was Singapore, and the next one is Canada. Mm. So in the end, that's funny. Yes, but it's in in summer, so they're not coming for snow like Singaporeans. They are rather coming for the beautiful, yeah, rolling hills and, and valleys and lakes and so on. But of course, I mean, the, the I mean, Canada is known for that too. <laughs> yes, yes, true. But I think the prestige of Stadt counts a lot, much more than maybe we think about that. And nowadays, when a wedding takes place, for example, from Ca the one from Canada, it, they are in Canada, but the friends come from all over the world. Nowadays, you have friends really from so many nationalities and cultural backgrounds that when you invite to such a big luxury wedding, they will come a bit of everywhere. Maybe they are, some of them are in Canada, but the others are in South Africa or in Hong Kong or, or in Norway or wherever. So in the end, they meet here, but it's not, yeah, they're not coming because of snow, because in Canada, of course, or in mountains, they have them as well. That's mm -hmm. true. So Switzerland is right in the heart of Europe and uh, easy to access from all over the world. It is. It's the heart of Europe and it's, as, as I said before, it's really a symbol of luxury travel and of, of exclusive experiences. Great. Thank you so yes. much.